a collection of quotes from the Holy Fathers of the Orthodox Church. It is most important to realize that prayer is always God-given. Otherwise, we may confuse the gift of grace with some achievement of our own, St. Theophon the Recluse. The essential thing is to stand consciously in the presence of the Lord with fear, faith, and love. St. Theophon the Recluse Consciousness of one's weaknesses, self-reproach, and patience are the three steps towards humility. St. Ambrose of Optina Humility is when you yield to others and consider yourself worse than all. St. Ambrose of Optina Because of her fervency and purity of soul, she will soon experience consoling and pleasing feelings. This will give her hope in acquiring Jesus and his love. But these feelings are very dangerous and close to prelest. For without her having first warred with the passions, without coming to know her weaknesses and humbling herself, they are not reliable or consoling feelings. Let them come when they do, but she must not accept them or be deceived by them, but rather consider herself unworthy. St. Ambrose of Optina Someone asked a monk, Who taught you to pray? He answered, Demons. How did demons teach you? This is how. They warred against me with various thoughts, and I bear them off with prayer. St. Ambrose of Optina. If you want to know the truth about yourself, then seek it from enemies. They will tell you. St. John Chrysostom. Even if a man comes to you on a horse and asks you for alms, give it to him. You will not have to answer for how he uses it. St. Dmitri of Rostov While you are standing in church, you must also say the Jesus Prayer. Then you will hear the church services distinctly. St. Seraphim of Sarov Whatever comes to pass, that is what I desire. St. Moses of Optina If the soul loves and pities people, prayer cannot be interrupted. St. Silouan the Athenite My only wealth is poverty. St. Moses of Optina Words are the language of this age, but silence is the language of the age to come. St. Isaac the Syrian Try not to accept blasphemous thoughts, and do not believe them, and the Lord will forgive you. When thoughts come, do not accept them, and do not repulse them, and especially do not exercise or contradict them. That does not pertain to your measure. Instead, have recourse to the Lord with prayer and humility. Carnal thoughts and fearfulness are permitted on account of our pride. Reproach yourself and try not to look at the tempter, and the temptation will pass. St. Anatoly of Optina One must have patience ready at hand in all things and not desire anything to turn out otherwise than it does so as not to lose one's peace. St. Moses of Optina Do not want things to turn out as you would like but want whatever happens. St. Dorotheus of Gaza One who does not have his own will will always get his way. Since he has no desire of his own, no matter what happens with him, 
he is content. And so it turns out that he always fulfills his desires. For he does not want things to turn out as he wishes, but as they do turn out. Saint Dorotheus of Gaza. No tribulations could come to us except by God's permission and because of our sins. And these very tribulations preserve us from other temptations. Saint Moses of Optina. I also used to fulfill various rules, but now only one is left to me, that of the publican, St. Moses of Optina. Will it be the same at the end of this age as it is now, when saints have been multiplied in all the world? My son, until the very end of this age, there will not cease to be prophets of the Lord God as well as servants of Satan. But in the last times, those who truly serve God will succeed in hiding themselves from men and will not work signs and miracles among them as they do at the present time. Instead, they will go by the path of labor mingled with humility and in the kingdom of the heavens, they will turn out to be greater than the fathers who were glorified by signs. Because at that time, no one will work miracles before the eyes of man, which could inspire people and arouse them to run zealously to struggles. St. Nephon of Constantia. Where there is no light, everything is dark. Where there is no humility, all that we have is impure and vain. St. John of the Ladder In order to love your neighbor as you should, you must first learn to love yourself as you should. St. Moses of Optina The Jesus Prayer not only does not hinder, but even helps one listen to the reading and the chanting, and helps regular church prayer and prayer in one's cell. And it sweetens, it greatly sweetens the heart, and it makes the spirit peaceful, and it illumines the mind. Saint Anatoly of Optina. Sister N is ashamed even to write to me concerning her thoughts. Just see what a saint she is. The person who does not consider himself a saint, on the other hand, says honestly that he has done this or that. Saint Anatoly of Optina Without Jesus, you will never cleanse your heart. Saint Anatoly of Optina Do not meddle in other people's affairs. You will lose your peace. Saint Anatoly of Optina. Would you like me to teach you, that is, to find humility and the best way to gain it? To patiently endure every pain which pricks your proud heart, and day and night to await mercy from the all merciful Savior. The point is, you do not understand that precisely this pain. Precisely this sharp, bitter sting pricking the sensitivity of your heart is in fact the real wellspring of God's mercies and of humility. It is in these pains that the mercy of God is hidden. Take away these ailments from you. Take away your exhaustion. Take away insults, reproaches, shortcomings from you and you will be left completely naked. Then, goodbye, royal purple, and royal crown, and pearls, and precious stones, and trees of paradise, and angels, and God himself with his most pure mother. All this will fly away from you. Saint Anatoly of Optina Little brother, do not fear to be deprived of worldly honor, and pleasurable comfort. 
If you desire to be honored by God and refreshed with eternal, blessed, and all sweetest rest, you must come to love humility and endure hardships for the sake of Christ, who humbled himself and endured a shameful death for you. St. Moses of Optina All things come our way in accordance with providence, and so we must make use of everything for our profit. What good is a soldier without battle? St. Moses of Optina Let us lay aside our double-mindedness and stop murmuring against the virtue for which we were created and to which we have been especially called, as though it were something unbearable. It is true that it is unbearable if we rely solely upon our own strength, for it requires the cooperation of grace-given wisdom, courage, righteousness, and chastity, whereas we perceive that we are very lacking in these things. So what are you to do? Flee from virtue, reviling it with the blasphemy that is an intolerable burden which is killing you? But who is it that laid it upon you? Is it not the Lord? Remember the three children who were cast into the furnace, how they kept themselves unharmed in the midst of the terrible flame, glorifying God. But you become faint-hearted, and to whom do you lift up your hands? To man who are strengthless? Better lift up your eyes to the mountains from which cometh help. St. Moses of Optina. It benefits us to love holy Russia, leaving aside European fashion, and to repent for our past attraction to it, to be steadfast in the Orthodox faith, to pray to God, and to offer repentance for the past. St. Moses of Optina. The moment you lose humility and self-reproach, forget it. St. Anatoly of Optina The afflictions are a dowry for our precious bridegroom. If anyone loves Jesus, he tries with all his might to accumulate as big a dowry as possible. And the more he loves him, the most pure most gentle, sweetest Jesus, the more he rejoices if they truck in a dowry to a good bride by the cartload, that is, afflictions and illnesses. And the Lord Jesus loves such as these, and how greatly he loves them. St. Anatoly of Optina. So do not be amazed at yourself or at anyone else. Until God manifest His aid, we shall not be able to do anything by ourselves. St. Anatoly of Optina If you love knowledge, devote yourself to the ascetic life. For mere theoretical knowledge puffs up a man. St. Mark the Ascetic For many, perhaps, have pretended to acquire, or indeed have acquired, fasting, vigil, and the appearance of reverence, and with ease can speak from the breast and teach how to multiply words. But very few are they who cut off the passions by means of humility of wisdom and constant lamentation and tears, and who acquire the ruling virtues inseparable from themselves. St. Simeon, the new theologian. Our virtues and our passions become known through our relations with others. St. John of Kronstadt. We were made for God, and our hearts are restless until they rest in Him. St. Augustine. This concludes our reading. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us.